another episode of Dos and a Half Cinco's. This is episode number 103. This week in our movie of the week, we cover Spider-Man No Way Home. But before we get into it, as always, I'm your host, David. And I am Stuart. Ben. <laughs> Someone clearly wants to get on with this. So outside of our movie of the week this week, uh, Stu, what else did you see? Hmm. What did I Take see? all the time you need. Yeah, I know hmm. we got all day. There's no rush or anything. Mm-mm. Um, well, I, I've, so far I've watched the first two Matrix movies getting ready for our um, presumed movie of the week next week. Um, Correct. American underdog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah, Same universe. Um, and then I'm, you know, still, still, uh, watching Dexter, the new season. I gotta say, it's really good. This, uh, if you liked Dexter, uh, watch the new season. Wow. For... People who are uh, aren't caught up, or people who have never really ventured to watch Dexter, how would you describe Dexter? Like, like the show what, or what the character? It... No, like the, the yeah the show. Oh, it's like um, uh shoot, murder mystery it. comedy. It's uh... mur- it's it's a little bit of everything. It's got murder. It's got uh, it's got mystery. It's got comedy. It's okay. got. So yeah, it's got it all. It's, so uh, if you were to blend some mainstream shows together to say, okay, if you like this and you like this, then you'll probably like Dexter. What would it be? Uh, if you like um, kind of like maybe not necessarily procedural cop shows, but if you like like cop shows, like investigation, law and order shows, that law and order style kind okay. of show, not cop necessarily shows. where it's like you know, chung chung, and then keeps changing scenes. And here's the AD, <laughs> here's the ADA. Now here's the medical examiner. Now here's the psychologist. But it's just you know, it's got the you know, just kind of like the crime, you know, investigation stuff. And then, but it also has like the kind of more sinister, murdery side. Uh, I mean, the plot. It's not a spoiler. The plot is, you know, it's a it's a guy who works for basically is a blood spatter analyst. Um, for the police is actually a serial killer so is the uh is the new show a continuation yeah okay. so it's not like a reboot or anything nope. it's a continuation no. No. okay uh what about you ben nothing next oh, oh wow okay uh i too Stu, have been uh catching up on all the matrix stuff so i just finished uh revelations so oh you just revelations, revelations? Isn't it? Revolutions. Revolutions. Revolution. Whatever. For PS2. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I was watching the first one um, at the end and just like in the context of like 2021 where, uh, I mean, this shouldn't be a spoiler for anyone, but uh, when Neo gets uh, shot by Agent Smith at the end, like a bunch of times and dies. And then at the end, and then uh, it it goes back to uh, Trinity telling like whispering into his lifeless corpse that uh he's like she's in love with him and then like mm-hmm. instantly he's like Whoop, whoop, i'm back <laughs> it's like it reminds me of like the uh, babe come over he's like i can't my parents, <laughs> my parents are <laughs> but i'm in love with you it, it's just like a gif of neo getting back up after getting shot eight times <laughs> oh my gosh yeah that's pretty accurate for all that all right. Um. Anything else before we move over? Because I know that Ben really, really wants to talk yeah. about this movie. He seems he really, very no. Worried. He really wants to spend a lot of time on the box office rundown. Okay, so. we could definitely do that and break it down. There's a lot to talk about. <laughs> um, this week, no surprise at number one is Spider Man No Way Home. I'm not going to say the number because I want to play a little game with you guys before we go, um, and move on to the next thing. Uh, number two, Encanto with uh, six point four million. Number three, West Side Story down from number one. Uh, they've only t- grossed $18 million domestically, so they have a lot to catch up on. Number four, our movie of the week from last week, Ghostbusters Afterlife with 3.4. Number five, uh, the new Guillermo del Toro movie, Nightmare Alley, $2.8 million. Number six, House of Gucci, uh, $1.9 million. Number seven, Pushpa the Rise Part 1 uh, made $1.3 million. Uh, number eight, Eternals. Number nine, Clifford the Big Red Dog. And number Woo. 10, Stu's, Stu's really keeping prop this one up. Resident Evil, Welcome to Raccoon City with 316000 of his own dollars. Disgusting. <laughs> Falling out of the top 10 is number 11, Dune. 
and number 12, Venom, Let There Be Carnage. So any comments, questions, concerns about the box office rundown before I move over to what I wanted to actually talk about? I really want to hear Ben's thoughts on the box office. What I want to, in great detail, Ben, spare no expense. But we can go line by oh, line. Well, okay, number one. You. <laughs> <laughs> um, so with the uh, opening number uh, from this week, we actually have a new challenger into the top five movies opening weekend uh, top five. So can you guys name them if I give you that Spider-Man No Way Home is in the top five? Can you name the other four? Of all time? Mm-hmm. Opening weekend. Not gross total. Without click. I heard clicking around. So no. But so does it have to be in order or no? Not in order. Titanic? Nope. Avatar? No. Wait, what are you talking about then? Just the opening weekend. The first three days of its opening, the biggest the biggest five films. If, it's not, if Avatar and Titanic aren't in that list, then I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, so number top five. Uh, ben, do you End know? Endgame. That is number one. Infinity War. Infinity War. Are you just talking about Marvel movies? No, I'm not. Which is amazing. That is also true. <laughs> that is correct. That is also in the top five. Clifford. Incorrect. <laughs> David, I don't know where you're getting these numbers from. <laughs> <laughs> My sources <I'll>... say Clifford. <laughs> At Clifford.com, the number one grossing movie of all time is Clifford the Big Red Dog. And and presumably the number one movie for next year is Clifford the Big Red Dog. Electric but, Boogaloo. Is the, is, um, the, okay. is the gotcha here that they're all Marvel movies? That's not the gotcha, but this one vaults it into the top five and then kicks out another Marvel movie. So at number one, the o- the opening box office weekend, number one, Avengers Endgame, $357 million. Number two is Spider-Man No Way Home with $260 million, bumping the former number two, Avengers Infinity War with $257 million. Number four, Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens with two hundred and forty-seven million, and number five, Episode uh, Star Wars Episode Eight: The oh, Last gross. Jedi, two hundred and twenty million dollars. Number six is oh, Avengers. Shut up! That's the worst one. Woo! The Avengers, two hundred and seven million dollars. So, in the history of like them tracking all of this stuff, this the, like obviously we're not accounting for inflation on that stuff. It's like literally just dollar for dollar. Doesn't matter. The top out of the top six films, all of them that cross the two hundred million dollar mark, that is considered. That's like kind of like the break point, is uh, considered for like very successful. But this is only for the opening weekend. The question I have for the Cinco, uh, for Cinco or Swimo, is oh, so now we're doing Cinco or Swimo now, obviously. Wow. Well, because that's part of the, that's kind of what we wanted to jump oh. into, is uh, with it being at uh, its opening weekend having two hundred sixty million dollars. What do you think the chances are that it will break into the top five? And the movies that you did mention, Stu, those two are in the top. Well, they're top ten. Titanic at number six. Oh, Avatar boy. at number three. Well, so Avatar time. actually didn't hold the box office record for the year that it was released in 2009. 2009, the movie, I I want to see if you can try to guess it. It's a, teen, it's a preteen book turned well, movie. One of them, Twilight New Moon, actually grossed 160 something million dollars in the first opening weekend. Avatar only managed 81 million dollars that opening weekend, or something like that. But it went on to gross 760 million dollars by the time it left the box office before it left the theaters. Number one is Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens, with 936 million dollars gross domestically. If we're like like looking at like worldwide and all that stuff, so question is, with where it's at currently, where do you think it ends up landing? Do you think it will break into the top ten? Top ten yeah. meaning that it needs to get to six hundred and nine million dollars to beat the Incredibles two at number ten. The, I think so. The top ten what? Top yeah. ten all time domestic box office numbers. Oh, I think it'll beat. If Incredibles 2 is its competition, I think it'll beat it. Okay. What about top five? The number five movie is Avengers Infinity War at no. $678 million. No, I think it'll beat it. That would have that would have to mean that more people 
saw this movie than Infinity War, that which to me implies that people are going into this movie going like, who are all these other people? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so according to uh, the numbers.com, which tracks like uh, individual movie franchises and stuff like that, Spider-Man No Way Home opening box office weekend was $260 million. Number two following that is Spider-Man 3 from 2007 with $151 million, which reminds me of a quote from The Simpsons that in the year 1967, disco sales were up 400%. <laughs> if these trends continue, <laughs> hey. <laughs> um so if you look at the graph, I'll send this over to you guys. So you'll take a look really quick. Um, Are you just going to uh, send up our graph of Disco's 2? No, I'm not. Gold no, no, no. Click on it. Shoes. This one is just for the box office history for Spider-Man movies in the first place. But like the trajectory for it kind of reminded me of that. That's the reason why I said what I said. So question <laughs> is Cinco or Swimmo that Spider-Man No Way Home will break into the top five for all time grossing. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I can see it, but I, I, at the same time, it's like what I just, based on what I said, it's like, to me, it just sound, it sounds it's like... It's hard to see it. Be, yeah, because to me, it's just like more people would have been following Infinity War and anticipating it than this movie. Mm. Okay. I don't know. Do you think it has anything to do with like the current state of where we're at with the pandemic, or is that not even factored into it at all? I mean, I'm not sure how it would, unless, I mean, I don't know. Ben has a theory. The reason why he's saying yes is we were talking about this a little bit earlier is Ben says that Spider-Man is the most beloved superhero That's true. Uh, character of all time. Do you agree with that statement? Probably. I would probably agree. With really? That. I, for some reason, I thought I thought it was maybe generational. Like back in like the the 90s, it was like Spy uh, not Spider-Man, Superman and like Batman was like one of the big ones. I'm not sure. I don't know where I got that, that feeling from. I, I guess it was mostly just like from assuming that uh, Shaquille Neal called himself, uh, they called him Superman, Superman at the Diesel and all that stuff. And I was like, okay, so it's clearly Superman's the... Gotta be well, the what is, what, is he going to call himself Spider-Man? What does he have in common with Spider-Man? <laughs> that he does whatever a spider can? Nope. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, just... Spider-Man can shoot free throws. <laughs> oh, wait. He's got pizza time. <laughs> he owns Papa John's. He's got pizza time. <laughs> oh, um, okay, so... I don't know where I got that impression from, but you know, I guess if that's the case, then I could see where Ben gets that idea that uh, they could definitely. I know I've, I've heard that, that before that Spider Man is like the most popular of all, like comic book. Oh, okay. Heroes. Hmm. If there, if you ever find out where that, if you remember where that article comes from, I would really be interested to kind of see what that. What I mean, what that's probably why they. That. That's probably why they chose Spider Man to launch like the that first wave of oh phase four major comic book movie. No, like you know Spider Man one, two, and three. Oh, oh yeah. that's right. We always attribute all the big Marvel movies to Iron Man as like the first one that kind of like started yeah. the whole thing. But you're right. Like uh, almost ten years prior to that, a couple of years prior to that, we had the three Spider Man movies. Yeah. I mean, there were it's like it to. wasn't he wasn't the first comic book movie to be made, but he definitely seemed to be the most successful or popular yeah definitely yeah and they started like the trilogy thing too right okay all right uh we'll move on to a couple of other cinco or swimos related uh in fact is spider-man way no way home is responsible for the uh the largest rapid spread of the octavius variant of the coronavirus wow. which now accounts for 73 percent of all cases in the u.s so topical david you're welcome. hilarious actually that's actually true the uh um the octavius the variant no the the, Oc variant Oc yeah, the Oc you said Oc octavius variant. i did i was trying to <laughs> be, really, what's i was real trying name? to be very uh, rel uh relatable but clearly yeah didn't real yeah but real real nice stuff there good you're work welcome i have to keep it fresh for you guys keep you guys on your toes all right um so <laughs> do you guys actually think that is related at all no i, I no. mean possibly everybody's crammed into a theater together, which I was yeah. going to ask Stu, what was your theater of going experience this time? Oh, 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 do I got some stuff for you? Okay. I'll, I got, I'll I pause got some, Cinco or Swimmo for this. I got some ammunition to, to about movie going experiences. All right, go ahead. Um, so I think, when did just, you see it by the way? Of course the timing does matter. Yeah. Yesterday evening. Okay. Um, <laughs> and so Sunday. I'm, yeah, I'm quickly learning, re or at least relearning that 
uh, people suck I mean, like, <laughs> at movie theaters. Like, they're really bad at doing movie theaters. Like, because I normally, normally when I go watch a movie, I'll go see like an early showing. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's like kind of no one in there, which is cool. This time it was like a full, in like packed house almost. And uh, so first off, I get my seat in the, it's in the front section of the, of the, you know, the seats, which is not, not a big deal for me. Um, and I go to my seat and, oh, look, there's like five people uh, sitting next to each other with my seat being the one that's in the middle of them. Like, and they were sitting in it. Oh, like, and so I'm looking at him, like looking at the guy, he's just looking at me like fucking completely clueless or, or he just wanted to act like he was clueless. I'm like, and I was like, dude, that's my seat. And he just, he's just like, I was like a dude in his like family. And he's just like, Oh, uh, uh, he didn't even really say anything. And I'm just like, fucking whatever, dude. So I went to go sit in like the, well, I mean, I ended up in the middle, like directly in the middle, which was, I guess a better seat, but that doesn't change the fact that at any point someone could have walked up to me and been like, that's my seat. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that was annoying. And then, yeah. so then that happened. And then, so the movie starts and then there's like a little kid and his dad, uh, uh, on my other side and the kid's wearing this giant down jacket, like a big poofy jacket. And he's just like moving around and slipping and sliding inside of it. They make it all inside in there. Yeah. Lots of rustling. Like if you've yeah. seen the episode of Seinfeld where George has a Gore-Tex jacket on. It's it was Gore-Tex, like, Jerry. Yeah, it's Gore-Tex. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was that, it was like that size of jacket. And he, every time he moved, it was just swishing and sw- swashing and all, all kinds of noise. And he kept like trying to take it off, but then putting it back. I don't know what the fuck he was doing, but he kept making all this noise. And then his dad falls asleep during the movie and he's just like snoring like what? crazy. Damn. And how did you how could you possibly fall asleep yeah. during this movie? I was about to say how did I get through the movie without murdering everyone? <laughs> and then and then, you know, what? there's like there's like four like babies in the theater and each one of them crying at like different points, like like synchron like synchronized uh, sequence crying, like one would cry and then a few minutes later the next one would cry. And then uh, I think someone in the back rows was doing the thing. Like you go to a restaurant and you see a family with a bunch of kids and the kid, they got the kids looking at like their iPad or whatever, watching no kid shows yeah, or yeah. whatever. Yes, uh-huh. you do. David, shut up. No, no, no. I'm saying I have an idea where this is going and I don't oh. want it to go there. No, it's going there because I think someone was doing that with one of their kids where they had them like just watching something completely different, like, and at full volume. Like, <laughs> so, in the like, theater? In the theater. I'm like, what the what is happening? No headphones, <laughs> not even just like I can understand if it's like, okay, it's a little brighter than normal, fine, but it's the hell. Yeah, so so while I'm listening to you know Doctor Strange and whatever, trying to, you know, talk and I'm hearing this other, you know, kids show dialogue in the background, I'm like, fucking We can build it. Why <laughs> is this happening? Clifford, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I was thinking like Thomas the Tank Tank Engine or like Bob the Builder or something like that, but that's almost just as good. Yep. Wow. Well, so that was, that was my movie movie fun for this weekend. Know, oh my I God. do have something similar to kind of piggyback off of that. So I watched this movie on Thursday night at seven. So this was like the first publicly available screening for everyone in the U.S. And there was someone in front of me who was looking at their phone right during the movie. And, you know, I, I get kind of annoyed by it because it's just like, well, you got your fucking phone there and it's like, you know, blinding me and I can kind of see what the fuck you're doing. So it's just like, OK, whatever. I don't usually say anything there. You know, <laughs> with the crowd that was there, I'm happy that someone was near them and actually threw something at them. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to see it happen. And then Justice. Like, I, I see them have a little spat and then they put away their phones. I'm like, well, but, you know, 
although it was extremely packed, I guess the the audience and the type of people that were there, I was glad I was in their presence, you know, just so that, you know, everyone was kind of on the same page. Like, they I mean, just you're glad to some people movie. didn't didn't forget what etiquette is like when you go to a movie theater filled with yeah. other people who paid to see this movie. You're not at home sitting on your couch <laughs> scrolling through your Instagram feed yeah. and you can rewind it. Everybody else is trying to pay attention to this movie. Don't just show up just because you know everybody else is going to be jealous that you went to it mm. watch the damn movie seriously yeah i feel like my audience was the polar opposite of ben's audience where everyone was there just to fucking goof off and i was the only one there to try to watch the movie <laughs> i'm taking no well i think you know what it is everybody respected the fact that ben was taking notes you didn't uh, bring your notepad this time that's yeah, why everybody well, was just yeah. kind of like oh he, he must He's have already taken notes it seriously <laughs> guys come on i really need this day for this final <laughs> <laughs> If I, I imagine if I had tried to say anything, everyone else would be like, hey, hey, keep it down. He's just trying to watch VeggieTales back here. <laughs> wow, I can't believe you don't like VeggieTales, Stu. <laughs> Come on. All right. Um, we'll, we'll go ahead and move, move more over to the uh, uh, finish up uh, Cinco and Swimmo. Uh, apparently, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness has finished its reshoots due to the recent success of spider-man no way home yeah. um wait why why do you sigh there ben i said yeah oh okay why were you, was um, it was it not good already or yeah i was like gonna say i was like what what, what what's wrong ben no nothing I, i'm just very hyped about the movie yeah oh, okay but well, i guess i hyped I'll about say... it before hearing <laughs> that news i'm not sure how that bodes for it but or what they're mm -hmm. doing like oh or, let's, i think everyone I heard it's the... more cameos <laughs> oh okay so they're adding more more uh stuff i guess i don't know well, um I mean, for the reshoots i know that the movie was originally being directed by scott derrickson who did the first movie and then he left because of creative differences and got handed off to sam raimi so maybe reshoots had more to do with sam raimi taking more control of it. <laughs> replacing know. doctor uh, replacing benedict cumberbatch with toby mcguire oh as doctor yeah. Strange. Oh, oh, oh don't get me my engine running <laughs> 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 okay cinco or swivel doctor strange is replaced uh is uh, benedict cumberbatch is replaced by toby mcguire uh. <laughs> okay how about uh, replaced don't, by don't adam let adam driver, driver know about the <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, your little, your little, your little fling here with Toby Maguire. I don't know, Adam. It was I, he didn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Um, some other news that came out. Uh, old news that's now new news. That's also possibly no news. Uh, Keanu Reeves is confirming that he met with Kevin Feige about an MCU role. Uh, Cinco or Swimmo for you guys. I mean, it's Keanu Reeves. So okay, well, I figured. Um. Some more details are coming up about, about uh, sorry, coming out uh, about new the new Jurassic World movie Dominion. Um, I just sent you guys a I'm going to send you guys a link. Uh, apparently, there's a new raptor. Does this even matter anymore? It, is it Jurassic like Park and Jurassic World kind of over? It seems I, like a, a shameless cash grab. Uh, yeah, I mean, I have not been on board with Jurassic Park ever since world Gerald, Gerald. Not even world. Fallen world i mean when, when we went to go see um what was it jurassic world like or was that a, a film jurassic world have it they have all of them been jurassic world just something some other name yeah um, i like the first one with chris pratt in it you know i the actually second one kind of was like whatever i watched it with you guys and uh i remember i was like oh that was okay and then like hamster thinking, ball well <laughs> yeah <laughs> thinking back on it i'm like that, that stupid hamster ball and a whole bunch of other dumb bullshit. And, you know, just the more I thought about it, the angrier I got. So it's just like, <laughs> now I don't think about it anymore. And now it's not living my head and oh. free. But now you've unlocked the door for it. You're and now welcome. he's just going around. Now he's he's getting, signed the lease. Hamster ball. <laughs> <laughs> stupid little hamster ball. Spilling beer everywhere. <laughs> so the reason why I brought this up is if you guys take a look at the picture in the background uh, behind Chris Pratt and his motorcycle, is the newest raptor called the Atrociraptor. Oh, God. So, <laughs> Wait, Stu, your, you initial, your, your, your <laughs> initial the feelings... That the, yeah, Atrociraptor. <laughs> so, Stu, the fact that you male. said it was a cash grab, I mean... 
They they're just <laughs> mailing it in right now. What, what's the other? What's the tier, new T Rex called? The Abonosaurus Rex? <laughs> or what? Hey 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 hey! Make sure you patent that. Pretty sure that's going. There wasn't the last one of the uh, Abominosaurus or something like that. Wait, really? I Are think so. Some, they had something stupid. I'll, I'll remember it after as soon as we're done with this. But if I remember it, I'll, I'll let you guys know. Uh, Cinco or Swimo? I have an idea already. That's gonna to sink say. harder than the Titanic <laughs> on a hot day. I don't know if that's. I don't know if things sink in salt water. Is, does that sink faster? I don't know. I, actually, I think I'm not a physicist. I think that makes it float. <laughs> okay, in fresh water then. Dinosaur villain. Oh, it's the Indominus Rex. Was yeah. the uh, was the one from the uh, Jurassic World? Yeah, Somebody just get BD Wong out of here. Come get your boy. He's been making too many stupid <laughs> dinosaurs. He, hey, no, no, no. He's the Albert Wesker of Jurassic <laughs> yeah. Park. Just get this. Just. Get this guy back in in the NYPD. Just <laughs> analyzing Wait. rape cases. <laughs> Global Wait, saturation of dinosaurs. Oh god. Okay. Uh, last one for Cinco or Swimo. Uh, it's more just like news and stuff like that. But off the heels of the 20th year celebration of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, the gang returns to Hogwarts with Daniel Radcliffe and the <laughs> But Famously absent from this reunion is J.K. Rowling, the creator of said franchise. Does this matter, Cinco or Swimmo? Or has her movie? material like outgrown her now at this point? Like it stands on its own, like we don't actually need her anymore. Yeah, I, I'd say that's that's accurate. Is it a movie? <laughs> it's not. Movie? It's like kind of like the Friends reunion where they kind of just have them sit around and answer questions. And Wait, then why would they need J.K. Rowling for it? Because she's the one who created the uh, the source material. Mm. Yeah, but if, if it's just they're just asking questions about the movies, though. Then... Famously, the reason why they're they're admitting her is because uh, she had some like transphobic um, things to say. Oh, over the last and she was also three. tweeting other outrageous things like, "Hey, did you know that wizards don't use the bathroom to shit their pants?" <laughs> what? I wish I was joking about that, but that's no, an she, actual tweet. <laughs> she has tweeted some very controversial uh topics look if they i don't think anyone can sit here and pretend like they've never said anything that's dumb on twitter yeah or no the internet doesn't remember anything twitter's not a real place okay so (laughs) nobody you can't sit here and tell me i've shit my pants before what of it yeah exactly (laughs) i'm miles davis (laughs) consider me miles Miles davis Davis. (laughs) (laughs) okay all right, so I'm assuming it doesn't matter at this point. So, all right, we'll go ahead and move over to our movie of the week this week, which is Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, I think this movie doesn't need a synopsis, like clearly. Like if you if you have looked on the internet at all for like like any show times or you've read anything, if you haven't been living under a rock, did you already know enough about this movie? We don't. I got a synopsis. Oh, go ahead, Ben. <clears throat> Let me get my papers in order. <laughs> Your right. tuning little tuning thing. <laughs> Marvel goes the hundred yards and delivers an amazing run of a movie, making what is to be the end game of cinematic Spider Man movies, only for them to fucking eat shit at the end zone for not including the greatest iteration of Spider Man, Danny DeVito's Man Spider. <laughs> <laughs> A, a fucking travesty. It really is, you know? <laughs> One out of <laughs> ten. <laughs> totally different. I, I, I didn't go as Spider-Man. Spider. I went as Man Spider. <laughs> man Spider. No way home. <laughs> Never coming to no theaters near you. Man, man Spider. I love banging whores. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, all right, guys. Uh, Stu, not including your yeah, excluding my uh, my theater experience. Yeah, experience. <laughs> I was um, I I had to I had to really kick it into overdrive my uh, my filters for uh, my to uh, tolerate rating system uh-huh. this, to tolerate the. I had to contend with a lot to watch this movie. There was a multiverse of it, 
a distraction madness yeah. around me wow um i it was like an obstacle course for me watching this movie but at the end when i got to the aggro crag i managed to scale it i got to the top i, I assembled the shrine of the silver monkey properly <laughs> Watch out for the temple guards, too. <laughs> I, I juke the temple guards right out of their little thongs that they're wearing. I don't... Or whatever. Their banana hammocks. They're very distracting, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I, I claimed the prize at the top, which was watching Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, having So, having said all that, um, without giving any... Getting any spoilers, what a movie. This was... I think, I mean, I don't remember the original, too much of the original uh, Spider-Man movies. I never watched them that much. Oh, you mean like Homecoming? No, no. And... one, two, and three oh, like with Tobey oh, oh. Maguire. And I never saw the uh, incredible, what is it? The amazing, whatever, Spider-Man? Amazing Spider-Man with uh, the... Something Garfield, Garfield the cat. Yeah. Um, I never watched, I never saw those. But I definitely, like, I, I definitely liked, um, you know, Homecoming and Far From Home. Uh, but this one was just like next level shit so uh for me it's a it's a nine and a half out of ten what would it needed to have done to be able to put it over the top i'll, I'll get it into that, that in the spoilers ah, i have okay. i have some really dumb gripes with it that's why i couldn't give it a 10 so mm. was it have anything to do with anybody else watching something else during your no, it had nothing. Leave to do. Clifford I, out of this. <laughs> I've told you I'm being as objectionable as as objective. I was about to say objectionable. <laughs> Sustained. Overruled. Very well. Treat as uh, hostile uh, witness. Okay, but yeah, uh, just have some small gripes where I was like, I don't know about this. And so, um, but yeah, so that's that's what uh we'll get okay. into that. Uh, what about you, Ben? Uh. You know, I'm pretty much in the same boat. Like, I think it was a really, really enjoyable movie. It's really difficult to talk about specifics about this movie or kind of paint this movie in very broad strokes without spoiling it. So just to get into the the score of it, I would give it a very hearty 8 out of 10. Whoa. Okay. Well, I'm with Stu on this. 9.5 out of 10. There's definitely some stuff that um, kind of you can definitely make gripes about but uh, i will say this the reason why it's so hard for me to to say 10 out of 10 is this movie was so hyped for so long like i don't know if there was anything that this movie could have done more to to be able to kind of like live up to what it was what it's kind of like building itself out to but i feel like them saying i think uh, tom holland saying that this is the most ambitious like superhero movie i could definitely say like they definitely they definitely took some pretty big risks and th- they paid off. So um, for, for me to say that a uh, superhero movie or a, uh, you know, a comic movie gets a nine and a half out of 10, that's, that's pretty good um, overall without you know, giving anything away. So, um, but yeah, pretty much if you're listening to this, go watch the movie, dude, or girl, guy, doesn't matter who, just person, go watch the movie. I think you'll have a good time. If you like uh, action, drama, comedy, I think it's got it all i feel like um all right uh spoiler zone it looks like we're spoiler zone yeah spoiler spoiler zone. Zone. look out yeah. here comes a spoiler oh, zone Take all right I, spoiler zone oh god okay <laughs> ben um you gave it eight out of ten what what it what what was it missing? Uh, yeah. Danny DeVito, we covered that. Yeah, Danny DeVito. Okay. That Man clearly, yeah, you're right. That makes it a nine. Uh, I really did enjoy all the fan servicey moments throughout the film, but I'm you know trying to be as unbiased as possible. Some of it did seem a little kind of just forced in. You know, I, not everyone had their place in the movie. Like oh, true. Uh, what was it the lizard like what was they, i mean they kind of on. wanted to keep things even right everybody got some guy from their like two from each kind yeah, of how, kind but of i mean out. he absolutely contributed like nothing you know and he had the it, accent though great he got 
lizard accent. Great. Oh, man. Lizard jokes. <laughs> lizard jokes. And he's the lizard. Great. Uh, oh, I don't yeah, know. I'm a lizard. <laughs> I feel like, uh, yeah, I was a little disappointed that we didn't also get, you know, um, Harry, you know, from uh, oh, I know the original Spider Man's, which was a little disappointing, but I, I understand hey, why. Talk to James Franco, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I mean, the yeah, uh, it, it does seem like a lot of the uh, the fan service moments were a little bit like forced and wedged in there, and it was it definitely wasn't like the most perfect movie of them all, but like to say that, like. Uh, I didn't enjoy it would be an absolute horseshit lie, you know. Like, I, you know, I'm grinning like ear to ear every time they just, you know, jam it down my throat. It's like, oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm somewhat of a scientist myself. I mean, I was losing my shit when he said that. Of course, <laughs> of course, I'm gonna lose my shit if he says that shit. They do the fucking pointy Spider Man meme, but like all that shit. Like, um, okay, Daredevil, right? I I gotta get that off my chest. Like, um, I never seen Daredevil. Oh, but, what? that was like what? when I saw that it hit me like a wall. I was like, oh, "What? No. I didn't even expect this." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that so, was one of the 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 special like you know because I feel like Aunt, uh, Garfield and McGuire were like the they're, they're the like worst expected. Kept, yeah, worst kept secrets <laughs> on the planet. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like just <sighs> Daredevil being there, like him originally or the whole character originally airing on Netflix in 2015. Is that it? Mm-hmm. Right. Like, as its own standalone Marvel show. It ran for, like, three seasons, got a shitload of praise, and everyone was in love with Charlie Cox depicting uh, Matt Murdock, right? That's his name? Mm -hmm. Matt Murdock? Mm -hmm. Yep. And a lot of fans were, like, kind of confused and a little sad when Marvel just, like, canceled the whole show. It was just like, wait, why? And I was doing so well. And finally, after all these years, I mean, finally, Marvel reintroduced Daredevil into the MCU and this movie. And the reveal for him was so fucking nonchalant, you know? It's just like, yep, here I am. <laughs> I'm I'm Daredevil, pretty much. And know. it was just like... It might be a standalone movie following that, just to be yeah. able to... Yeah. And just, it was just a court, it's just a court movie. A court hey, movie. I, I would not mind that. I, I don't... <laughs> I'm not... I wouldn't mind it either. Uh, so, the... Um, he fights Phoenix right in court. Hey, Marvel vs. Capcom, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally Marvel vs. Capcom. I found your Capcom. crossover that you've been looking for. Uh, so that reveal for him was, in my opinion, like perfect. You know, it was so short, succinct, and they like just and they quickly highlighted why everyone fucking loves him. You know, he's just so mm-hmm. fucking cool. And dude, um, like I said, I think part of the you know what gave me such a good experience with this movie was the the crowd I went with because as soon as like he slammed his Caden down and you don't even know who it is. Like my theater was going ape shit. And I was <laughs> like, wait, what? Why, why is everyone going crazy? And then he sits down. And I'm like, Oh, Hey, that guy looks familiar. Uh, <laughs> you know, just like, who is that though? Uh, then I piece it together. Oh, daredevil. Right. So it, my theater is going eight shit over him. Right. And it was, it was such a cool moment to be a part of. And to say that that was not even like one of the most exciting reveals for the movie or one of the coolest moments really speaks to how big of a movie this was. I, I know I was kind of joking about like uh, the yeah, end game of cinematic yeah. Spider-Man movies, but it literally was, you know, to be able to wrangle up all these Spider-Man movies, like dating back to like, you know, early 2000s up until now, smash them into a single movie and give them all their own character arcs and like satisfying resolutions that's oh and also have them all interact with each other meaningfully that's not easy to do and And under three hours and oh yeah Mm. and under three hours you know it's just like holy shit um that is something uh (laughs) like it's really hard for me to even pick like oh that this is my favorite part of the movie or whatever i mean i could confidently say i know who my favorite villain of the movie is uh, but yeah like th- it's this is such Wizard. a wild roller coaster of a movie like it, it was hard to say 8 out of 10 i want to say 9 but you know um, you know everything you said it sounds like you meant, meant 9 to. but you just said 8 for, for oh. something some reason for, yeah, for weird. shock for up. shock reasons yeah just for just to be the contrarian oh, anything contrarian. missing for you ben like if they had added something like where where's the biggest gap for you i really do think it was just a little too much of a like you know the 
the movie winking at the audience and like kind of smiling with all oh, these. Oh, like, like saying like, we know you wanted this, so we gave it to you, but it's not going to be the way you wanted it. Not, not We're not going to give it like, enough time. Not even that. It's just like the, 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 like the, the Easter eggs and the callbacks to the other movies. Like, uh, Tommy McGuire's, oh, my back, you know, it's just like, okay, like that happened in Spider-Man too. Why is that still a thing? <laughs> you know, uh, you know, uh, like he's uh, older now. And when you get injured, they get worse when you're older. Yeah. Man. But it was a callback to specifically that one scene in Spider-Man two, which oh, was oh. like such a memeable moment. And they're just that. like, you know, really <laughs> wrung the shit out of it. You know, it's just like, is this dry yet? Nope. Let's keep going. You know, I, like I, just I guess that. Those, I guess those kinds of criticisms are lost on me because I it was completely over my head. Yeah, because oh, okay. he didn't. I don't have Spider Man two memorized. So. Oh my god, let me tell you. Okay, <laughs> ben, you're you're chewing up your own time here. I know, yeah, I know. So, um, yeah. so I want to leave some time for Stu. So Stu, what about you? Uh, so because it was, I thought I was I, it was so enjoyable for me. The only the only gripes I had were just kind of more like story or plot wise, where like. Okay, so you're gonna erase every. Everyone's gonna forget you're either Spider Man or Peter Parker. What happens to those videos? Uh, all the videos of all the all the record of uh, you know Spider Man and mm-hmm. Peter being Peter Parker. I, I think it was like implied that all even like physical evidence of Spider-Man. it was not implied to me at all because they said fr- okay, just well, memory. Yeah, right. well that because- that was not made clear to me. I need to be hit over the head with it. I mean, just the way that, you know, J. Jonah Jameson kind of says it, you know, he's the media, yeah. the holder of the physical evidence that Spider-Man is Peter Parker. Like, that's gone. So I would, I kind of assume like, oh, okay. Also, why does J. Jonah Jameson look the same in every universe? Why not? I mean, I'm not <laughs> kind of questions. This is the, this what kind is of the chosen <laughs> version of J., J. Jonah Jameson. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but I think, oh, shoot. So that was the, that gripe. The other gripe, was, kind of small gripe was like, it would have been cool if they could have fit Miles Morales in here somehow. Some I was I was half expecting him, kind of. I know. I was like, "Where's? Come on, have him. Let's go." Yeah, come on, Miles. Miles Morales, come on. Here we go. I don't know if there would have been enough time to be able to fit a fourth one in. There's got to be a Black Spider Man out there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh my god, that um, makes this great. Yeah, uh, I feel like the biggest thing for me is this movie leaves like it's it's really good, but where do you go from here at this point? I, I kind of like where they ended the movie. It's almost like a reverse, um, you know, like uh, they, they debuted Spider-Man in such a big way back in the day during Infinity War. Mm-hmm. And then he immediately goes up to intergalactic battles and shit. Yeah. And now we're finally getting like no name Peter Parker Spider-Man, who's just friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Yeah. And he just has to make a name yeah. for himself. He has to do everything all on his own now. Was that I, Spider-Man like, 2 where he was like, he got his own apartment, his little shitty apartment. Yeah, was, that uh, is. yeah it basically mm-hmm. ended in Spider-Man 2. Yeah. So I, I thought uh, I did like how it ended where it's like, oh, now he's just anonymous, you know, jack off Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I wonder what his if is it confirmed that he's going to be in uh, Doctor Strange? Uh, no, not confirmed. Uh, speaking of Doctor Strange, this is also this is, you know, not really a gripe towards the movie itself, but just the overall movie. You didn't get enough of him in there. Well, yeah, well, that too. But also I felt like this after credits uh clip was not mm-hmm. so much a stinger as it was just a full trailer <laughs> full trailer for the movie so and i'm okay with that because i really like that trailer. i wasn't okay with that because i could just watch it on youtube like what the fuck <laughs> but then you wouldn't have had to pay for the movie and stay for the end yeah oh yeah i i wanted to spend as much time in that theater as possible oh me too <laughs> it's an experience all right um for me that's pretty much the only gripe that i had is just like i wish they probably could have just like taken out a couple of extra of those villains and then given them more screen time i think that would have probably made the movie a little bit more meaningful instead of just kind of like going hit after hit after hit after hit after hit, after hit. there's like i i don't know it's just it's you a know, lot to take in. Know, i feel like I, maybe we have to watch the movie at least three or four five six I, other times i feel like the phrase, the term fan service has a negative connotation and I don't appreciate it Mm -hmm. (laughs) because yes, that's, yes, that's what I'm here for. Well, yeah, you're, you're the person who's, I am the fan down, right? I want to be serviced. I want (laughs) in every way imaginable. So when, when I hear people turn their nose up at fan service, not saying that Ben did, but 
I when do. I hear, yeah, well, okay, well then this applies to you then, too, Ben. When I hear, when I, when people turn their nose up at it, I'm like, the fuck did you want instead? Like, not to have the things that you, you cherished and loved in the movie? Because the opposite would have been made them just as mad, right? If it's like, well, why? That's so yeah. obvious. Why yeah. wouldn't you include this? Right. Stupid. Yeah. It's like, well, you didn't want to be service, so we're not going to give you what you asked yeah, for. Because that's a, so obvious and stupid. A big critic of Mr. No f- oh, fan service. <laughs> like, yes, I am the fan. This is service what I want. Me. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I know that we're going to be very excited to see what they do with the first Marvel horror film. Strange, multiverse that's madness. gonna be hype let's fucking yeah, go so we also have a certified horror film person uh directing this movie as well so yeah yeah it so should be good. we should see what will happen with that i mean i definitely agree with uh the both of you that face this is phase four right yep that they are definitely trying things outside of the box and is this considered phase four it. because it's yeah. sony or no 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 just this is just phase four after because it's endgame. after uh, endgame but because it, after the so Thanos has Infinity, the the Infinity Stones and that kind of stuff, that's Phase Three. Okay, so it's not really regarding it's not the studio. Sony, no. Mm-hmm. Okay. But uh, but yeah, no. So it should be interesting. Um, guys, any other thoughts before we wrap today's episode up? Uh, Tom Holland, uh, uh, Uncharted trailer. Mm. I haven't seen it. No, oh. it was in the previews. Yeah, yeah. I did get the I feeling know. though. I did get the feeling though, like we were talking about the past couple of weeks, where he's like, he's just playing Tom Holland. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> and but he we'll happens see. to dress like Drake. Untrade. Uh, yeah. But then Scully's way too young. Yeah, Sully. It's not Scully. This is an X Files. Sully. I want to believe though. <laughs> Sullenberger. <laughs> I want to believe. Scully Sullenberger. Uh, Sc- Scully Sullenberger. All right. Um, I mean, guys, obviously it's a prequel, but anyways. <laughs> Oh, maybe. We'll see. Um, guys, join us next week as we move, review The Matrix Resurrections. That'll be our movie of the week next week. Uh, we hope you guys have a good Christmas. I know the holidays are coming up. And don't forget to follow us wherever you're getting your podcasts. Available on SoundCloud, Spotify, YouTube, and Google Podcasts. And we're also available on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash dose and a half Cinco's. As always, I've been your host, David. I'm Jared. I'm Ben. Uh, don't forget to tape your Reiki Masters and uh, stay safe out there. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. 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 Bye.